Julie from the Heart of Feather Heart Temple YouTube site, and it's 4-19-2016, I think. Anyway, I've, I've been thinking about doing a video about triggering or triggers. And just to kind of bring something to light a little bit, I have a very, very close friend who has been in my life for quite some time now, and we have noticed how something interferes with his transmission of information to me, and they will do something to the energy in his words so that when I read them, I see things that aren't there. I read things that aren't there and I fall into an emotional plummet and, or like an emotional drowning. It's not something he did to me. It's not something that he set out to do. I, I don't, I don't completely understand it, but we've been studying it. And I, I've been thinking about doing a video on it, but I don't know enough about it. And I do know that in the mind control programming that they've been doing in the military for like assassins, they will, and, and they, they showed it in movies where somebody will get a phone call and somebody says code words to the person who has been programmed with the code words. And once they hear the code words, they hang up the phone and go do an assassination. So I do know they can do the triggering that way. But how they are doing it through just me reading a sentence has to be, they have to be doing it through the internet, through vibrations of frequency, like putting some kind of virus in, in the words. And I know it might sound a little crazy to people out there, but I just wanted to say a little bit about it to, as a reminder and maybe somebody out there is being triggered by another person. They will also trigger you to destroy relationships. Now, I, I didn't want to really do a video about this because I didn't want people to use the information to not work out their issues because we all have issues. There's not a person on this planet that hasn't been damaged, okay? We've collectively been abused and or individually at the same time we're being abused. So it's a wonder that any of us can still think properly or that any of us have any kind of critical thinking skills. So I just wanted to put the word out there in a way, I guess, to um, let people know that there are people who understand that there is something going on when someone is saying something to you to cause you to emotionally plummet. And I'm going to probably try to get him to do videos about it. I don't know. He's, he's studying it. But thank you for having that nice conversation, Miguel, because... I think we're going to bring something to light here that needs to be discussed because I don't think I've ever heard anyone discussing the triggers, the mechanics of it individually that these things that are destroying beautiful relationships are doing. They're, here, they're doing it somehow. Um, they're, they'll even make you think things that aren't there. So... It has to be, it has to do with something to do with your emotions because they're triggering you into an emotional plummet. But anyways, that's all I wanted to say about that. Maybe there's somebody out there that will hear what I'm saying and maybe um, we can provide some kind of hope or some kind of understanding or even if it's just to expand someone's awareness about it because it does happen you are not crazy if you have a psychopath in your life that's saying mean things to you to cause you to plummet into triggering you to plummet into emotional drownings my best the best advice i ever received and you'll you'll receive this in in and out of the psychopath community and the best bet is no contact if possible you have to get away from them there's no if ands or buts about it you have to get away from them unless it's somebody who isn't 
a psychopath, okay, that is just being used to hurt you by their words. So have a beautiful day, beautiful people. I'm going to go. This ran too long. Have a good day.